Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift in my next thrifting haul. Um, a little bit to show you. So I'm going to get started at this sale. So this sale, I bought two separate purchases. I paid $20 each. Um, the first purchase, I bought this stuff and the bag and some cross pens. So the bag was $5. It is not authentic, but it did look nice. So for 5 bucks, I couldn't leave it. Just a nice weekender bag. Um... The cross pens were five and this was 10. So basically, um, these kids are selling some of their grandmother's salt and pepper shaker collection. Um, she must have had a few hundred. And basically, the prices were if it's crystal, it's five dollars. Anything else, mostly a dollar or in the range of one to five dollars, depending on what it was. So this stuff they charge 10. So first off, I got these crystal and sterling with guilloche enamel um, tops. I believe they're, they say Norway on them. So they say sterling 925 and Norway. These ones I believe are Bakelite with sterling lids. These ones again are Hallmarked right there, sterling. These are 830, I believe, silver. Yeah, 830. And some of them did have original price stickers that she put on them. So she had them as sterling, but they're 830 silver. And these are my favorite. These are sterling with enamel. They just reminded me of hot air balloons. So I definitely like those. So that was $20. I did see a lot of Bakelite salt and pepper shakers, but I had no clue on. If they're worth it for $5 a piece, I didn't know that if they were going to charge $5 a piece. So I kind of went to my car, did some research, and went back because some of them did have good value. So I asked them, like I picked up a few like this. I was like, how much are these? And they're more like, make a pile, we'll give you a price. So I got all of these. If you look at my Instagram, I show a more detailed picture of these guys. But I got all of these for $20. So that was pretty good. Um, moving on. Um, this sale. So this was an estate sale. I think I went twice. So first time, I might have got some jewelry. And second time, I got this stuff. So this was more the second day, the last day. So it was more uh, discounted. So all of this here. So this guy those and these five dollars total so i got these for my mom she collects all these glass ornaments so i only saw these guys got a little view master thing for my nephews to enjoy if i find the little view master at a yard sale um and i usually don't pick up mary Kay or any makeup for that matter um but these just look cute they're basically refillable perfume bottles with a little tassel so that's what they look like. And these are all brand new in box. Uh, let's start down here. So this was a yard sale. I just got these three pieces for a dollar total. So I got this green crystal necklace with a sterling clasp. These two rings, surprisingly, and they're little, they had a little plate of jewelry. And I was surprised these two were still in there. This is a 10 karat ring. Um, I didn't test the stones, but one green stone is missing, as you can see right there. But it is 10 karat. And this one, I wasn't sure if it was real. I probably still want to test it because it is kind of tarnished. But it is marked 14 karat on the inside. But I did test these stones, and they are diamonds. So, found that too. This stuff here was a yard sale. I paid 15 total. So, I got these sterling... Pearl and topaz earrings are pretty hefty, too. They're marked right at the bottom. Um, and this one kind of looks Native American. It's like a safety pin brooch. But there's the hallmark. It says sterling, and it has a maker's mark on both sides. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, this one I just got for a dollar at a yard sale. A little sterling necklace with a kind of silicone paracord and a sterling clasp 
Uh, these were a dollar piece at a different yard sale. Just a sterling bangle and a sterling ring. Uh, let's go up here. Um, Mickey Mouse. Vintage Mickey Mouse t-shirt that was probably a little more than $3 at a Goodwill. Um, let me get these Mickey out of the way. So these were also yard sale. Um, they're Disney and American Eagle collaboration. I only found two of them. Still new with tags. Originally $39.95. So $3 a piece was really good. And they come with their original bags. So I got a plaid one as well. Um, this sale. So the candles and this stuff here. I think I went back twice. And I want to say I paid $20 each time. So this stuff is probably like $40 worth of stuff. Um, so... I got these candlesticks. They are lo vintage Lucite ones. With little glitter specks in there. So definitely not usable. But nice decoration piece. Got this little gold stick pin. Little flower. Usually they separate all their sterling and gold. So this one must have snuck past them. But it is a sterling bow brooch. It is marked 925 right there. So that one's pretty fun find. Um, this also snuck past them. It's a sterling necklace. Got this Vic Victorian brass brooch. A little C clasp. This one was pretty nice. I like the look of it. So it's this horse with a bejeweled body. Has no markings. But I thought it looked pretty well made. So pick that up. Um, got these Whiting and Davis little cameo clip-ons. This one is a silver filigree with enamel brooch. I think it, it's 800 silver. These guys were all in a bag, so I think they're $5.00 total so i got some danbury mint um these got these egg pendants a little flower bouquet and all these were extras i think there's a gold filled necklace in there so got that oh also got this whiting and davis uh pretty hefty uh bangle bracelet moving on to the perfumes i got those at different sales so the Chanel I got for $5 at a yard sale. And the Calvin Klein and the Jennifer Aniston I got for $2 a piece at another yard sale. These I got for a dollar each. This is a sterling, kind of like a Roman coin pendant. So that's sterling. This one's a silver filigree brooch. Uh, this stuff here. So I got this and this stuff at a local um, flea market on different weekends. So this stuff here, this one I paid five and I mostly just paid five because this little clip on the end is marked 10 carat. So I mostly got it for that. I'm pretty sure the rest of it is not 10 carat. So this piece must've got replaced sometime. Not sure about the other clasp, if that's gold as well. So I got that. This I got next to the flea market. There is a lady having a yard sale. So this was $2. So it's a Victorian morning brooch. It's made of onyx. And I believe that's gold with seed pearls. It is missing three, three seed pearls. Needs a little cleaning. But pretty good condition for its age. Um, got some 14 karat earrings for $5. This one, I paid up for it. I paid $20 for it. They wanted $25. But I picked it up because it looked just good quality. Like a good quality piece. And I couldn't figure out the monogram. Even the lady asked me. If I knew what the monogram was, I said I had no clue, but it, it did look nice. So I did post this on my Instagram. 
And I asked, you know, people that follow me if they knew what this, what this maker was. And it's also on the, the clasp, the same uh, monogram. So someone did know what it was. And it turns out it's Christian Ottinger. So that's the founder of um, Ed Hardy. So I never knew he made a kind of like a high-end jewelry line as well. I only seen one other one of this, but it was silver. And this one is gold tone. So that was pretty fun find. This one was a different weekend, same flea market. So paid $6 for the necklace and a dollar for the bracelet. So this is a long strand pearl necklace. And this bracelet is marked, if you could see it, 417, which means 10 carat. So that was pretty fun. The only thing is the clasp is kind of broken. So there's a little piece that should have been coming on the top right here. So you can kind of push down and put the clasp inside, but that piece must have broken off, but it's still held together with the safety clasp. So, but either way, a dollar for a 10 karat bracelet is really good. Um, this stuff. So I actually got another piece with this that has already sold. So I pretty much paid for this, most of this stuff. So this lady was selling a lot of jewelry, a lot of sterling jewelry. Um, I think she traveled to Guatemala because a few of these are Guatemalan pieces. Um, so this one, I'm not sure if it's a money clip or a tie bar, but it's pretty long if it is a tie bar compared to this one. So they're both silver. This one has a gold top. Have the same uh, cufflink kind of design, a little gold top. This one is a sterling religious key. This one's Silpata. I think it's about a, probably a size five or five and a half. A little sterling starfish. And this one I never heard of before, but the maker is Ming, M-I-N-G. Um, but it is sterling as well. It's pretty heavy. So that was pretty good. Um, this one, I think, I want to say I paid $10 for these. So this was a yard sale. The lady was selling some of her grandmother's stuff, which most of it was costume. I mean, some of this is costume as well. But I got a 10 strand pearl. These are real pearls. A bracelet and matching necklace. Not sure on the metal content of the clasp. I mean, it looks well made. But there is no hallmark on it. Also got this green natural stone chip necklace. Has a sterling clasp and a sterling, little dainty sterling necklace. A little CZ pendant. Um, this one. Paid $5 for this. Um, actually... My dad helped me find this because we were yard selling together and he happened to lift something up that he was looking at and underneath was this. So when I saw it from far away, I thought it could be sterling. So I picked it up and right there, you'll see a hallmark. It says sterling silver and it kind of looks like it says nine. 50 or 960 which actually is more than sterling but it's a it's got a silver lid and body but it's lined with like wood and the lid used used to be a hinge lid but it has broken so i got that um uh, moving on this is the other jewelry i got from the mary Kay sale so this was, I think, the first day is what I picked up. So this stuff, I think I paid $10 for. So I got a pearl necklace. A little, this little piece right here is sterling. So it's a little military sterling uh, tie bar. Some costume jewelry. That's a brooch. These are brooches. I think that's a pendant. Some more brooches. I think these were like three dollars a bag so i picked them up 
Um, this one I thought this could be gold, but it's really gold filled, those earrings. These ones right here are sterling. And I also got a little silver religious metal in there as well. So all of this, she gave it to me for $10 total. Also for $10, she had another estate sale, the same uh, lady that ran this one. And I got this stuff from it. So this was also priced at $10. So I got some patches. I like collecting patches. Got some random bits and bobs. Got a little tape measure. Little aluminum articulated fish. This piece is sterling. This little chain is... I believe 14 karat, but the clasp is broken. Got some vintage clothes. This is a vintage Levi's. Little big E. Um, but they did take out the hem. As you can see. So I don't know if I'm going to sell that as is or try and fix it. Probably going to try and sell it as is. And then I got this vintage goofy sweater. That they also altered so they cut out the hem and the neckline kind of make it look like a crop top these are probably the most interesting pieces i got from her um these i've never heard of but they are leather postcards and most of them date to like the early 1900s i think one i saw 1907 I think that one's kind of 190 something. But yeah. So they have different images on the back that people would draw on there. So I've got all those. Got a little Easter one. Oh, uh, one of them I did get has kind of uh, offensive imagery on it. Um, which is that one. Um, but these, like I said, they dated to the early 1900s, which during that time, I don't believe that symbol meant what it means now, which if you want to know, it's a certain German imagery that's on the back of that one. But the rest of them were pretty cool. So I picked it up. So $10 for all that was pretty pretty good price which is why I like going to that one lady's estate sales so I hope you guys like this haul thanks